Here's how to schedule transmissions in Crosslink 1040. From the work in progress summary, click the transmit button. In the transmit to central site window, click the setup button. Here, there are two areas where you can schedule transmissions, the scheduled times area and the scheduled interval area. In both of these areas, you can enable the scheduled transmission by selecting the enable checkbox. If you only want to receive information during the scheduled transmission, select the receive only checkbox. If this box is not selected, tax returns queued for transmission will be transmitted during the scheduled transmission. If you have purchased Secure Offsite Storage, also known as SOS, select the SOS checkbox to archive your tax returns during the scheduled transmission. The first method of scheduling a transmission is with a scheduled time. Simply enter the time you would like the transmission to start. The other way to schedule a transmission is over intervals of time. Set a start time here, an end time here, and then in the interval box, type how often in minutes you would like the program to transmit. I'll type 30 so that the program transmits every half hour. Once you click OK, the program will automatically transmit during the next scheduled transmission. And now here's a few helpful tips. If you have more than one computer running Crosslink 1040 on the same network, it's a good idea to schedule intervals of at least 10 minutes or more to avoid any transmission conflicts. Remember, all tax returns that are queued for transmission will be transmitted during the scheduled transmission unless you've selected the Receive Only checkbox. And finally, please note that scheduled transmissions will only occur if the program is left on the work in progress summary. To avoid any performance delays, scheduled transmissions will not occur if you're working in a tax return or somewhere other than the work in progress summary.